What are you guys doing there? Bird! boys and girls. Come on, babies. Come on. Gilda Rose, winter feed or autumn feed for lots of birds. I'm over checking the plantation, the new Glade Glen coppice of trees. This is doing well. And what's really cool is this one here. Okay, this is a beech tree and there's marjoram, but we all thought this was dead, but it's not. It's coming back to life. Do you see there? So that's good. And then over here, this is doing well. This is doing very well. And then over here, there's a whole bunch of rowans. There's one rowan here, and it's actually putting up new leaves, which is great because I was worried that it was going to be dying, but it's putting out new leaves. And then there's another one there and another one here. And these leaves are doing really well. So, yeah, another horse chestnut. I haven't, we haven't mulched. We've only mulched a certain amount. Sycamore. These willows, they, these should thrive. These should love this area. Here's another horse chestnut. And here's an oak tree. And another sycamore. Another horse chestnut. This is a dog cherry. Oh, sorry. That was a dog cherry over there. So one, two dog cherries. Another oak tree right here. And this is a birch, a sown birch from seed. The oaks are all grown from seed. The bird cherries are grown from cuttings. The horse chestnuts are grown from seed. So it's a mixture of from seed or um, cuttings. The sycamores were seeds, that sycamore there and that sycamore there. So, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Isn't that right? Well, you're all very patient, waiting for me as I survey the scene. Java all the way over there, because there's too many prickly things on the ground for him. He's like, my toes, my toes. I don't like going over there with my toes. Okay, done. I have to tie the gate up though. I'll hang a real gate here. Not a real gate, but a real made up gate that can open and close easily rather than this hurdle. But this is good for the time being. While other jobs get done, 
that need doing. The acorns are beginning to fall. The sheep love the, uh, not the acorns, horse chestnuts. She's eating a horse chestnut. You can see here, this is a horse chestnut. It's not broken up. Now, if I break it, Oop, where'd it go? There it is. There you go. There you go. Want the horse chestnut? Nope. Oh, Looking the ash leaf. The ash tree leaf. Here, you want that? There we go. Ate the horse chestnut. Crunch, crunch, crunch. bright sunny day. I think we're supposed to get more rain and wind tonight. Thanks to Ernesto. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. fight between the yo's as to who gets to lick the mineral lick. And then somebody else comes in. <laughs> oh, mineral lick fight. Pecking order is always an issue in a flock. Who's dominant and who's submissive. She's eating thistles. I'm loving this flush of purple. It's um, napweed and some marjoram, wild marjoram. But it's a beautiful splash of purple. Look at that. Inga's inspecting, thinking I'm looking at a dung beetle or some other in insect. Oops, somebody's just arrived. Java? No! Leave him alone! You're being bold! Very bold! You guys are just not going to get any food. You're that late. The food's all going to be eaten. Yeah. Go on. Uh, Java, no. Java, no. <laughs> nah. 
leave them alone. Go on, you boys. Catch up with the rest of the flock. Stragglers. Two, four, six, seven stragglers. They're probably playing hooky in the neighbor's field. I'm looking over a four-leaf clover that I've never overlooked before. One leaves for sunshine, the other for rain. Oh, I can't remember the rest of the song. It's been so long since I remembered singing it. Anyway, there's one four-leaf clover. And I saw another one a minute ago. I don't know. Oh, there it is. There's another four-leaf clover. That's two. Two four-leaf clovers. Oop. Three four-leaf clovers. Oh! Ah! Four four-leaf clovers. Four four-leaf clovers. Oh, this one's a bit chewed. That's a four-leaf clover. What does that make? Five. Five four-leaf clovers. Are there any more? Oh, there's another one. That's six four-leaf clovers. Let's see, are there any more? I'm looking over a four-leaf clover that died. There's another one. Four-leaf clovers, what does that make? Seven four-leaf, <gasps> look, another one. Eight four-leaf clovers. This must be a very special patch. Eight four-leaf clovers. Yay! So lucky. So lucky.